Obviously, uh, a lot more punches thrown for Virgil Hill, so for a guy that was moving, he still managed to throw more punches, and he uh, landed more, uh, not by a monstrous margin, but certainly enough to tell you that he won uh, rounds. He averaged 39 jabs per round. Now, when George Foreman won the title, he averaged 45 jabs per round in that infamous fight with uh, Michael Moore. So, uh, interesting. But then, for, for that matter, though, I mean, in this particular case, Bruda didn't throw nearly as many punches as Michael Moore threw in that fight with uh, George Foreman. There you go, and there you see Virgil Hill right there. Congratulating Valerie Bruda. Now, Al Bernstein is going into the ring because we feel that Virgil Hill is going to get the unanimous decision call here. And we're going to have the uh, interview with uh, Virgil Hill very, very shortly here. Now, our ring announcer, Joe Andonacci, seems to have the scorecards complete. So without further ado, let's make it official. Here he is, Joe. Boxing fans, after 12 rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Steve Weisfeld, Judge Melvina Lathan, and Judge Lynn Carter all see the bout 118 to 110 for your winner and the new WBA Cruiserweight Champion of the World from North Dakota, USA! elation of Virgil Hill and Benny I had a 118-110 and all three of the judges Steve Weisfeld, Melvina Lathan and Lynn Carter all saw it exactly the same way that's a unanimous decision yeah I only gave one round to Valerie Brudov I just thought Virgil Hill fought the perfect fight for himself